Natural by Imagine Dragons. What a great song. Just two chords throughout the whole thing, and we can play that in standard tuning as well. But we also have a cool little acoustic guitar riff that we can learn, which is fairly doable, fairly short. I'd love you guys to have a go at it. The two chords that we're going to stick to, again, for the whole song, and just kind of strum along to this, uh, which could be played on electric or acoustic guitar, are the D minor chord, and then the A7 chord. Now, you could play a standard A major, but it's an A7 to kind of get the feel of, of the recording. And uh, that just means that whichever way that you play an A chord, whichever finger is in the middle, that one needs to lift off. I prefer to play that, and I choose to teach it like this. So play with the middle and third finger. But you can see how we've got the third string is open, and we need to hear that by keeping the fingers right on the tips. We also have the thumb over the top, which is muting this thickest string all the way through when I'm strumming both of these chords, and that thumb is always static, it always stays there. That is a good habit to get into with these two chords in particular, especially when we're um, increasing the strumming pattern and making that a bit harder. It is not essential. If you find it easier to have that thumb lower, and play your chords like this and the thumb isn't muting, that is fine. And it can be a real sticking point for people when they're trying to get the thumb over, especially with some guitars that have a, a bigger neck, a thicker neck, or your you know hands are a little bit smaller. Make sure your chords are good first before you worry about the thumb. So we're on D minor to A7. D minor to A7. No anchor finger, so it's it's a little, it's a tricky change for beginners to do. But again, just two chords throughout this whole song and a kind of quick uh, blast through it. Yeah, you're a natural, a beating heart of stone. You have to be so cold to make it in this world. And that is the same throughout all the verses and everything. So you could just have a strum through this. And that is two bars of each chord. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. If you want to have a little play along to the recording or a sing yourself, make sure you get it on the beat first. That would be my recommendation. Then you can have a go at a, a different strumming pattern which goes to the rhythm of the song a little bit more, and that would be down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. that last upstrum, lift off already by that last upstrum to change chord. Watch, down, up, down, up. I'm actually playing that chord, which is nothing. <laughs> okay, we just lift off. And if you accidentally do an extra strum anywhere else, it doesn't matter so long as your hand is, is still moving to that kind of eighth grid, which I would be teaching, you know, around about level five or, or level, uh, between level three and level five of my beginner's courses, where we're really wanting to get these downs and ups solidified with a few kind of similar strumming patterns. Um, that is the whole song. That really is all, all the uh, chords are doing all the way through. Let's have a look at the riff now. With the riff, we really want to put ourselves in something called drop D tuning. So the open E string, which is our uh, our lowest string, the thickest one, which is on top, but it's it's the lowest, so we call this the bottom. We want to put that down to a D, so it, that wants to be just over a quarter turn. Oh, for me it was nearly a half turn, actually, I guess. And um, I'm just going to check with my little tuner down here as well that that is in tune, and that's there. So you will need a chromatic tuner to do that kind of thing. You can see some links to that on my website and in the description below. But that puts us in drop D, which means when we play this D minor chord, we can actually play all six strings, which straight away gives it that darkness of the recording. On the A7 chord, if you're going to strum this, thumb on the top still for that A7 chord. But for the D, that's called drop D tune, and it's really cool, and it allows us to do this.
Okay, that starts with the open uh, D string, the thickest string. I've got my picking hand kind of resting here and keeping nice and close to these uh, thicker strings, not out here kind of, I'm not swinging my arm, it's all wrist movement. To do this kind of thing, you have to know the riff really well, you have to know the song, know the rhythm, how it goes. Kind of be able to whistle it to yourself before you do this because um, it's got a little rhythm to it which we need to copy and emulate. Okay, that's the first part. Thickest string. And that's the first half of it. Thickest string, third fret, open, third fret, open, same again. Then, the second part, we have our middle finger, sorry, at the second fret of the fourth string. And we're also using something called alternate picking, which is using down and up motions alternately. Now I'm sticking to that for the quicker sections, but you don't have to stick to it through the whole riff. You can learn more about alternate picking in the video that uh, I've linked to in the description. And you know, search Andy Guitar Alternate Picking, you'll find plenty of my videos to help you with your picking on YouTube. But that is a great little riff to do it, and it's this part, down, up, down, up, which is the important bit. where you need to use a down and up and also okay also employing a little bit of muting just to clean up the second half of the riff so I'm lifting off that middle finger when it's kind of done and I'm picking another string Relax that middle finger, relax again, and then when I hit that thickest string to restart the riff, I actually mute those open strings by resting my middle finger on them. And it just cleans it up slightly. Now that's a little bit more advanced. Um, but that's everything how to play this great song by Imagine Dragons. Let me know your other song requests in the description below and you will get more help on the website andyguitar.co.uk and on the Andy Guitar app available now on Google Play.